This is the plaintiff, Ida Favaloro. She says the defendant's big dog approached her, two little dogs with her big mouth open, and before she knew it, grabbed her dog Chloe in her mouth and started shaking her violently. She grabbed that broomstick and started wailing on the defendant's dog so she would drop Chloe. Her poor dog was bleeding badly. She was rushed to the vet, and the defendant and his unleashed dog owe her $200 for vet bills. This is the defendant, Adam Ligamari. He says he was walking his dog on his leash, and she's very big and strong, and she got away from him. The plaintiff's dogs were not on leashes, and dogs being dogs, they got into it. He doesn't owe the plaintiff any money because her dogs were never on leashes, and it's a big problem in the neighborhood because if they were, this whole situation could have been prevented. He's accused of losing control. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant's big dogs attacked her little dogs and one of them got really badly hurt. But the defendant says the plaintiff's dogs were not on leashes. End of story. It's the case of new leash on life. Thank you, Doug. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, so you have two dogs, correct? Yes. And what are their names? Uh, Sadie and <sighs> Chloe. All right, what kind of dogs are they? Sadie is a 14-year-old uh, deerhead chihuahua. Chloe is a one-year-old chihuahua weenie, weenie, it, part dash hound. Okay. I never, heard, right. I never heard of one dog. I Googled it. Dachshund? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you have your two yappy dogs, and they are where? And your front porch when yes. this happens? Tell me what happens. My um, Even my cat gets leashed up. We're all, I was getting. You have a cat on a leash? Yes. I Why? Have, I have a. Because I don't trust her running off or getting attacked. Okay. They don't go no further than my yard, except when we go for walks. Okay, so go which, on. We Do you walk your cat? Sometimes, but she just stays on the porch. Okay, yeah. so go on. So we're uh, one morning we were out, out in the yard, you know, I was getting them ready, getting them leashed up and stuff, and Mr. Ligamari's Lar dog's constantly getting loose all the time, which I knew about that. But this one specific day, he got loose. And I seen them. Where physically are you when this happened? I'm up on my porch. Are you sitting or are you standing? Standing, getting the girls situated with the chains because they're getting tangled. I, they get tangled around the um, the lawn chairs, so I'm untangling them to get them down the stairs. Okay, so play. are they leashed or are they not leashed? They were leashed. I was untangling their leashes around the chairs. Okay, so where do you keep the leashes on your hand? In the house. No, I'm sorry. I meant oh. when you're on the porch, are you holding on to all the yes, leashes? Yes, yes. Was there anybody else out there with you? Uh, no, not okay, that day. Okay, so what happens? Day. What happened? Um, I seen the couple, Ligamari and his wife, chasing their dog down the street. What kind of dog do you have? It's a pit bull, uh, bull mastiff mix. Go on. And um, I, I see him coming up the street towards my house, and I turned around and glanced, and I said, oh, my God, that dog's loose again. Because three weeks prior, it did attack us, and it knocked me to the ground, broke my phone, my, busted my shoulder bone. But I didn't do anything about it because there was he no— He looks shocked. You uh, never told them? Absolutely. Hey, your dog, you got to stop letting your dog out? Yes, yes. I called the police, and they gave him the New York law, uh, leash law. That, that was two weeks earlier, three that, weeks earlier? About three weeks earlier. Did you? Why are you no. looking shocked? Because I'm absolutely shocked. They never did that. Do you know that? No. Okay. It's right. right here. Got, let me see that. What, what are you going to show me? The leash law? I know the no, leash no, law. No, the animal control that that, that, uh, that gave him. Just a second. That gave him the new. He came to my house and said, I just told him the, the New York. But are we talking about the prior event where the dog knocked you over? Or are we talking about oh, this no. event? It, no, okay. The okay, prior, did you contact I never, anybody on the prior event? Is no, my because my dog wasn't okay. wounded. I was worried more about well, her. Well, what about me. you? You said that you you hurt your shoulder. I right. Mean, all right, so yeah, go on. It was Okay. All right, go on. And then, um, so the dog come up the driveway with his, its mouth wide open, his teeth. And I said, oh my gosh. So I, I tried to grab Chloe and she was on the leash and we were getting tangled. And that's when the dog came up my driveway. So I turned around, I grabbed the broom and I was beating the dog over the back. And I'm a bat lover, an animal lover. And, and I, I was beating it and beating it and screaming for someone to help me. He's killing, it's killing my dog. And some gentleman jumped out of his car, came up the driveway and um, he got he got the my dog out of his mouth. Wait, I thought that they were right there. They he was walking across the street, not running like the other guy ran. 
Oh, wow. And so when he got up, then they, they, you know, got his dog. I took mine up to the stairs, and then I was... That's when they told me to get over to the vet with her because she was bleeding bad. So I took her over to the vet. What was, they do at the vet's office? Do you have the vet? Um, yes, I do. In pictures. Yeah, let me see that. She's stapled. <clears throat> what happened? So, go ahead and come on up. Were you there too? Yes. yes. Okay, go ahead. So uh, the Dave question that she's speaking about, um, Sassy Mae, that's the name of my dog. She broke off her leash. Um, her, she was outside, the, the plaintiff was outside with her dogs, not on her porch, but in her front yard by her driveway. One dog was off the leash, one dog was not, uh, or one dog was on a leash, one dog was off the leash. Now this whole time, um, the plaintiff is in her yard with her dogs screaming obscenities at us with a broomstick in her hand. Now she had ample enough time to pick up the dog to-, to Apparently not. I mean, the dog got bit by your dog. Well, but the dog, my dog? Yeah, your dog is on her property biting her but animals. It's not like a twenty thousand, you know, two thousand dollar vet bill is two hundred bucks. No, I'm trying to figure out what your defense prior is. Prior to my dog going to her yard, the point is, is my dog went the other direction. Opposite down. Way what does that have to do with anything? She had enough time to pick up her dog, like. Oh, you and, mean and she should house. know better no, when well, your dog gets out that everyone must go to the bomb shelter and get off the public forum because your dog is raining terror. You know, your pit bull, and it's oh, it's never the dachshund that gets loose and causes damage, and it's not the dog's fault, it's not the breed's fault, it's the owner's fault. So are little dogs inherently afraid of bigger dogs? What do you say? I think it all depends on how the dog reacts, because sometimes I've seen bigger dogs more scared of a little dog. Well, what do you say? That's an interesting point. I say yes, for the most part. Little dogs are more afraid of the bigger ones. What do you say, sir? Yes. Yes. Well, I have a little dogs, and the answer is no. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. You say your defense is... My dog got out way before it bit her, so she had ample time to clear the deck. That's your defense? Well, what I'm saying is if, if, if I've seen a dog, my a dog's been loose in, in our area before, and my dog How was on a leash. How often has your dog been loose in your Three area? times. Three How times. How often, according to you, has your dog been loose in that area? Probably three. Maybe four times. Okay. It's not that often. Go on. So just what I'm saying is, is when I see a dog outside that I, I and my dog is outside, I'll bring my dog in the house until that dog leaves the area yeah, or whatever the case may be. You don't have a legal obligation to. You don't have no, a legal you don't. You're right. To, well, then why aren't you paying for the vet bills? See, you Can have, I tell you? You have I was a dog never... that went on her property and bit her dogs and cost her $200. Your dog went on their property. Okay? okay. I don't know if her dogs were leashed or not, but they're on her property. Okay. They're not in the public forum like yours were. Absolutely. So, you know, yeah, she says they were leashed. I have pictures of a cat on a porch with a, on a porch. Pictures of a cat. That would be interesting. A cat on a porch that is not leashed. I have pictures of a dog on a porch that she's showing me that are leashed. So, it, but let, I don't care if they were leashed. They're on her property with her. She's got them more in her control than you do. You don't have your dog in your control. It happened because of you. It didn't happen because she didn't hustle fast enough when <laughs> she saw that you were out of control of your dog. It happened because your dog got loose for the fourth time or third time. There shouldn't be a second time. Yeah. How did your dog get loose? It broke the leash. Could I explain about the not Just paying? tell me what your defense is. How is it that your dog gets loose, goes on someone's private property, eats a dog, costs them $200, which isn't even that big a bill considering the stuff I see, asked. and you don't pay? Well, what's I your defense today? Nobody's I ever. Was, okay, well, they're asking asked. you now. Like, did you think it through, like how it sounds? Your dog gets loose, and your defense is literally, you had well, enough time to hustle back into the house and save there, your though. dog, so thing. your dog's getting dog's bit is your yap, fault. Yap, yap. Are you it, talking it. over me? Your defense is, you had plenty of time to see how irresponsible I am and change <sighs> your behavior to accommodate my irresponsibility. $200 True. verdict for the plaintiff. Have a nice day. Well, no question, the, uh, the defendant has lost this case. Yes, you, sir. You, you had to know you were going to lose. Absolutely. I mean, it, but, it, you know, we're sorry that it happened. You know, it, it, that's really all I have to say. You know, I'm sorry. Why didn't you pay, pay the bill before? Like I tried telling the judge. Yeah. I didn't know about it until we got. You didn't. So they didn't tell Nobody you. Nobody asked. She never asked you. She never came. No. Nothing. Nothing.
Oh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. All righty. Well, Ms. Favoloro, how'd I do? Was that okay? Yes, yes. You didn't ask them to pay the vet bill up front? I didn't want no problems with them. You just filed a lawsuit? Yes. Didn't even ask yeah. them. Well, maybe you should have no, asked No, because I used to go over there and, and give their kids popsicles. I, I bought my dog a new pool when I first got her. I gave yeah. the, their little boy the, the pool for mm -hmm. nothing because she won't get in the pool. Wow. How and is the dog now? She's doing good. She's doing real good. She's recovering But okay. she won't go outside. She's scared. She shakes. I can't even push her out. Don't blame her. Yes, All right. Um, thank you very much. You. Congratulations. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing, Doug. If you live in a neighborhood where there are dogs running out of control in the neighborhood without leashes or owners, call Department of Animal Control. What they will do is they will come out, investigate, talk to the owner of those dogs that are running loose. If those dogs persist in running loose, animal control can escalate things, and ultimately they can hold a hearing and even remove the dog from the neighborhood, and that's extreme, but they can do it if the animal poses a danger by running loose. So think about that. Look for the Animal Control Department in your area.